Hi guys, this is Abhi from Gokche Design. In this video, we are going to learn how to create a plastic effect in Adobe Photoshop. Let's start by duplicating your background layer. Next, click on the quick selection tool in the toolbar, then hit select subject. Use the plus minus brushes to clean up the selection, then click on the add layer mask button. Duplicate the background copy layer two times, then right click on the top layer and convert to smart object so we can apply some filters. Click on filter in the top menu and choose filter gallery. Activate plastic wrap under the artistic dropdown and set 14 for highlight strength, 10 for detail and 15 for smoothness. Rename this layer to plastic wrap and change the blend mode to luminosity. Drag the plastic wrap layer below the background copy two layer. Now select the background copy two layer, then click on window in the top menu and choose styles. Search for blue gel with drop shadow and then click on the icon under web styles. Change the blend mode to darken and turn off the effect visibility of everything except color overlay and satin. Activate the background copy layer, then from the new adjustment layer menu, choose hue slash saturation. Click on the clip button and change the hue slider to minus 129. For a more dramatic look, change the blend mode of background copy two layer to color burn. Next, hold command option shift and press E to create a stamped copy of all visible layers. Right click and convert to smart object. Click on filter in the top menu and choose Gaussian blur from the blur dropdown. Change the radius value to six pixels, then hold the option key and click on the add layer mask button. Activate the brush tool from the toolbar and make sure the flow is set to 10% and the foreground color is set to white. Now slowly paint over the shadow to blur it out a bit. Finally, let's look at the before and after images. Looks good to me. Make sure you like, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until next time.